Today is May 12th, and as usual, I'll take a look at the newest items in Halo Infinite Store and determine whether or not they're worth your money. So this is Game Magpies, I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. It's Friday, so that means we've got two things, starting with today's daily item, the Praetorian Zephyr Bulldog Coating. I'm not sure if the Praetorian Zephyr Coating has returned for the Bulldog just yet, this might be the first time, although I'm not 100% sure. But when it does come to the individual daily coatings we've been having, I'm pretty sure I've said everything I need to say about it. 400 for one weapon coating is not a fair price, especially when that has half the price of the bundle it was originally released in. Personally, I really don't recommend this one, especially considering you can now buy most of the previous weapon coatings anyway in the armor hall. There is definitely plenty of other options, some of which are better priced or come with some other cool things. I think 400 for just one weapon coating isn't really fair. The other thing that has returned today is the Epsilon Autumn set. However, it isn't the full bundle, rather just the armor coatings. The bundle costs 800 credits and you get the Epsilon Autumn coating for every core. One cool little detail I picked up on is the fact that the Rikshasa one actually possesses different materials and the Mark 7 one actually has a different pattern, but it is essentially just the same coating on every core for 800 credits. Personally, I do think that is stretching it just a little. I mean, this is essentially one coating, but spread on multiple pieces of armor. It is kind of as if 343 has monetized cross-core coatings with this, which is definitely unfortunate to see. That being said, though, I do think this is a really nice armor coating. I love the way it looks on Rick's chassis and the Mark V B especially. I do think it's a cool coating, but 800, yeah, I, it, this is definitely an overpriced one. You're better off with Splinter Desert or one of the various camouflage ones that you can acquire in the campaign. Anyway, though, let me know what you all think down in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.